Today we are going to talk about the dirtiest word in web development. P. Wait, stop, 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 stop. PHP. P PHP. Hello? Hey, what's up, developers? It's Real Tough Candy back online with you guys today. Ooh, we're gonna talk about something dirty. PHP and the second dirtiest word in all of programming, all of development, WordPress. Ooh, ooh, it's funny how they they really aren't that loved and they go hand in hand. I'm talking really with my hands because they go hand in hand. Eh. Today's video, we're gonna talk about this language, why I think it's a great language for beginners and newbies, just the opportunities. We're gonna talk about what it is, uh, some of the arguments against it. Where can we go to learn this stuff? Let's start, let's start with the basics. What is PHP? In a nutshell, PHP is a back-end language used for developing web applications. It came into prominence in the mid to late 90s, and from there, according to some people, it steadily went downhill. Now, fast forward to 2019, I know that's quite a leap, 20 years or so, but you know, it's 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 whatever. It, it's not that old if you're talking to a dinosaur. So these past couple years, especially, I've noticed there has been a wave of anti-PHP sentiment. My favorite instructor even wrote a really interesting article last year published on Medium about why PHP is just not worth learning. I disagree with the article. I still really enjoyed reading it. I think that article really symbolizes what most instructors think of PHP in 2019. Uh, you won't catch Colt Steele making a PHP course anytime soon. You won't catch a coding bootcamp teaching PHP anytime soon, at least the ones that are prominent, Lambda School, General Assembly, et cetera. They're all doing Node, they're doing Ruby, they're even doing frameworks like Ruby on Rails instead of PHP. So you don't find a lot of people or a lot of organizations championing this language. And I want to be on camera today to publicly declare my enthusiasm for PHP as it relates to new developers because WordPress was written in PHP. Oh, oh, that turned some people, that turned some people off. A lot of e-commerce stuff, a lot of other CMSs, a lot of completely custom stuff. My first job at an IBM affiliate was mostly PHP. Lots of opportunities. Go to indeed.com, type in your city and type in PHP, something's gonna pop up. All of the, not all, but most digital agencies building with WordPress, PHP. So there are just so many opportunities and the language does get a bad rap. I, I myself have some issues with the language. The documentation is pretty terrible. As one of my commenters pointed out, we've been spoiled. JavaScript developers have been spoiled with stuff like the Mozilla docs, uh, great high quality documentation. And then you go to the PHP documentation site and it's just like, oh man, this is like stack overflow gone wrong. The top answers, like, cause you can comment on, on the documentation because things have changed over the years and a lot of stuff hasn't been updated or there's like certain tricks and things you have to do in order to make these things work. So the top rated comments are like 10 years old, a lot of them. The syntax of PHP, not the strongest argument, but an argument nonetheless that uh, it's, it's just not a very nice looking syntax. The dollar sign is kind of obnoxious because you're using two hands or at least one big hand to create a dollar sign for a variable. The arrows can get kind of fatiguing. But that's, again, a weak argument, but something to point out nonetheless. Other people have pointed out that PHP is slow. I would argue PHP 7 has kind of changed that. We've also seen some headway with Laravel, which is a framework for PHP. So some big changes in the PHP landscape, uh, namely PHP 7 and Laravel that have, especially Laravel, which has really made PHP development a lot more pleasant. The bummer of it all, from my perspective, is that the superstars have absolutely disavowed PHP as a viable subject to teach. Um, Andre Negoy has made his thoughts very clear on that. I respect him, and I just wish he would make a PHP course. The movers and shakers, the educators, the people in charge, do not perceive PHP as a first-class citizen. So they don't expect a Colt Steel PHP course anytime soon. And PHP is just, you know, in the back. And it's too bad because there aren't a lot of good resources online, modern resources online that I know of, 
that can really show newbies how this language works, where it can be applied, and how you can build projects with it. I think it was like almost two years ago, I found out that John Duckett was coming out with a PHP and a MySQL book. Andrew, if you're watching this, he's the one who first told me about this. Like, I think it was like two years ago, and the book isn't coming out till March 2020. I think his style of teaching, his style of writing, the way he presents his material in his past books, which were HTML and CSS and his JavaScript and jQuery books, phenomenal, phenomenal. Um, I don't want to say encyclopedic, but they're pretty freaking thick and they're very engaging. And if this, if, if John Duckett can deliver on this PHP and my sequel book, I think this is going to be a huge win for developers, especially junior developers. And I know there are some mid-level and senior developers, even junior devs who are watching this right now being like, yo, WordPress is not even real development. You've clearly not spent time working with a WordPress project. You've looked at the themes, saw that you could just click to install and said, oh yeah, this is like Wix. No, 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 no. We have stuff like headless WordPress. We have things like plugins, custom plugins that you can build to just tra totally transform uh, your WordPress app. I've built stuff at my enterprise job using WordPress. So it does have, it has limited enterprise applicability in my experience, but it is still a valid solution when you get to that enterprise level. That's what I love about WordPress is that it's multi-layered and you can take it to its limit. Its limit is like up here. People think, oh, this is as high as it goes. It goes like up there. Uh, but you can start down here and you can stay down there and you can still become, you can still make a living as an HTML, CSS person doing WordPress installs. It's, I mean, you're not going to get rich, but it's money in the bank. So anyone trying to smack talk WordPress jobs on my channel is not going to be taken kindly to. Uh, just because I have seen what a great vehicle it is for juniors. In fact, one of my people was, was in Discord the other month thanking me, uh, not bragging, not even humble bragging, just telling you guys, I am one of the few people who talks about PHP in a positive way. The, other, the only other person I can think of who talks about PHP as an opportunity, as something to use to your advantage is Coding Face and Steph Mischuk. So this guy was in my Discord a few months ago. He said, I want to thank you for talking about PHP in this way, for encouraging me to explore it because my first job I just landed is working with PHP and I, I feel validated. I know PHP offers a lot of opportunities and it's tough to learn. How I learned it, I tried a Udemy course. It just was, I did not think it was that good. It was hard for me to watch it. So I learned mostly on the job and that's where I learned. Um, I use PHP a lot too to learn other programming principles. Like I really didn't know object oriented programming when I was learning JavaScript as a new developer. It took me um, that time on my job to learn OOP with PHP. Um, I don't think, in my experience, learning object oriented programming with JavaScript is kind of, I don't want to say a farce, but it's kind of tough. If you're curious about how PHP works in the real world, and especially if you want to fuse PHP with MySQL, one of the easiest things you can do is download a copy of WordPress to your machine and just get dirty with it. Just look at what's going on. You don't even have to make anything. You can just look at it or take a few lines out and see what happens. I would also recommend downloading something like Champ, Wamp, or Mamp. Those are really funny to say. I would recommend downloading one of those because all of those, just, just choose one, is going to give you an Apache server where you can view your PHP in your browser. You need, a, you need a server to view any type of PHP project in your browser, your web browser. And also, it's going to give you a MySQL server so you can see your databases and your tables and work with them. That's how it's used in WordPress. So that's what you can expect when you start exploring that. Uh, PHP My Admin is a great beginner's tool, too. Uh, maybe not for production. I know there are a lot of different bugs and security things with it, um, but it is, it's cool to use and experiment with. Um, there are just a lot of other things too. If you have web hosting um, with cPanel, if you scroll all the way down, there's all these like one, one click install scripts. A lot of these scripts are from the 90s and they're a little cheesy, but you can still see how this stuff works. You can still see how it's applied. A lot of people still use these things like, um, what is it, PHP bulletin board. I see that script everywhere when I'm exploring online. But as far as a go-to all-in-one inclusive PHP course, I just haven't 
seen it yet. And I'm holding out my hope for this John Duckett book coming out in March 2020. Please, John, please, please, on behalf of people who believe in PHP, I hope your book is awesome. PHP jobs are not going anywhere. Your digital agencies are going to be building WordPress sites for clients for years to come. They're not switching over to Node or Ruby anytime soon. They were built on WordPress. They're going to stick with WordPress. Even if they jump over in a few years to a new backend language, a new CMS, all of their clients, these are, these are gonna be legacy clients with legacy projects. And you're gonna have PHP to deal with that way. I just think jobs that incorporate PHP or you know, advertise themselves as being PHP roles, these have a lot of opportunities for juniors and they don't get talked about a lot. Go to Indeed, like I said, go to Indeed, type in PHP or type in WordPress perfect entry-level jobs for junior developers. Not all of us want to work at Facebook, which was built with PHP, fun fact. These jobs are also just great springboards because once you spend a year doing this stuff, even if it's low-key stuff uh, with WordPress, getting familiar with plugins, getting familiar with the ecosystem, getting familiar with how, this, how to deploy this stuff, um, you know, webmaster duties, all this different stuff. You're going to have different challenges thrown at you, even though it's a only a WordPress job. It's only a what Magento. This is an alternative viewpoint. You're not going to hear on many other channels just because PHP isn't cool. It isn't hip. It isn't bleeding edge. Everyone's talking about Mongo, but is anyone really using it? It uh, Just don't get me started with that. Much, much more appropriate, in my opinion, is PHP and MySQL. Much more applicable. Much more applicable. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't, smash that subscribe button. Shout out to my patrons who make these videos possible. Shooting with a mic and a tripod. Thanks to them. More upgrades coming to the channel soon. All thanks to your guys' donations. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.